blood groups and transfusions. As there are different types of the blood groups, your immune system recognizes your blood as the self while all the other blood groups as non-self. So if we see in this diagram, we can see that these are the structures of red blood cells. The red blood cells, they contain the antigens and antibodies they attach with the antigens. In case of blood group type A that produce antibodies to agglutinate the cells which carry type B antigen, they recognize them as non-self. Same is with case of type B. In case of type B, they recognize the other uh, antibodies as non-self. In this diagram, we can see that the, these are the agglutinations or agglutinations that is formed due to the reaction of the antibody and antigens which are present on the surface of the red blood cells. Blood group O. The red blood cells of the blood group O do not carry any type of the antigens. Their red blood cells do not have antigens on their surface. Based on the uh, types of the alleles and based on the antigens which are present on the surface of the red blood cells, there are two types of the red blood cells. We can say that one type can be a, a, a universal donor and the second type is called as universal recipient. Blood group O is considered as the universal donor. This blood can be transfused or can be donated to any of the person that contain either O or other than O. While in case of blood group type AB, this is called as a universal recipient. All the other blood groups uh, can be donated uh, to a person that have blood group type AB. So in this diagram, we can understand that how we can check that which is the donor and which is the recipient. In case of blood group type A, this type can be donated to A and as well as this blood group can be to, donated to AB. So red color shows that A can be donated to A and A can be donated to AB. While this blood group cannot be donated to a person who is with blood group type B and blood group type O. If we take the example of the blood group B, blood group B can be donated to blood group B as well as this group can be don donated to a person who has the blood group AB. In case of AB, AB can be donated only to an individual who has AB blood group. While in case of blood group O, this blood group can be donated to all the individuals who, who have either blood group A, either blood group B, AB or O. So from here, we can conclude that blood group O is the universal donor. It can be donated to any of the individual who have either blood group A, blood group B, blood group AB or blood group O. While the blood group AB is the universal recipient or the universal acceptor that can, uh, uh, that can get any of the blood uh, uh, other than AB, AB and other than AB. So if we check some of the crosses based on the uh, blood groups, if a person who has a blood group type A, but the blood group type A is in heterozygous form, here we can see this is heterozygous form. One allele is A while the other allele is O or can also be written as a small i. If such a person marries uh, with a person who has blood group type B, but the blood group type B is also heterozygous in nature, what will be the genotypes and what will be the phenotypes about the children who will be produced, who will, be, uh, who will take a birth to them? If we perform the genotypes, uh, blood group uh, uh, of one person that has uh, two alleles, allele IA and allele I. This is allele A 
and this is allele I, while the second individual has allele IB and allele I. So, if we cross them or prepare a Punnett score, as a result, there will be IA and IB. Blood group can be IB and I. Blood group can be IA and I and uh, uh, O positive or o blood group O. So, the genotype ratio will be 1. 1 will be blood group AB. Uh, that will be heterozygous. Blood group uh, with allele A and allele O. Blood group uh, with allele B and allele O and uh, uh, blood group with allele O and O. So, there will be one to one ratio between all the four genotypes. But based on the phenotypic ratio, then we will see that AB, this is AB blood group, this is A blood group, this is B blood group and this is O blood group. They respond, this is O is for this genotype, B is for this genotype, a is for this genotype and AB is for this genotype. So, based on this data, we can see if a person who is heterozygous with blood group type A marries with a person who is heterozygous with blood, blood group B, the genotypic ratio will be 1 to 1, 1 and 1. And based on the genotypic ratio, the blood group will be blood group AB, blood group A, B and O. This is the second example. If a cross, if there is a cross between a person who has blood group O uh, marries with the person who, ha who is heterozygous with blood group type B, what would be the genotypic and phenotypic ratio? If a person that has blood group O, the genotypes of that individual will be O and O or it can be written as I and I. So, the alleles will be I and the second allele will be I. And the second individual who is heterozygous for the blood group B, the genotypes will be IB and the second will be I. So, as a cross, these different genotypes will be produced. Based on these genotypes, we can conclude that genotypic ratio will be 1 to 1 as well as phenotypic ratio between the uh, blood groups will be uh, 1 will, will be uh, 2 will be blood group B. Here we can say 2 will be B and there are 2 will be blood group O. So, the phenotypic ratio will also be 1 to 1. So, we can conclude that uh, blood group in the humans is controlled by a gene. That gene has three alleles that is triallelic in nature and it can generate six different genotypes. Based on the genotypes, there are four different uh, types of the blood groups, blood group A, blood group B, blood group AB and blood group O.